Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin. Everyone's getting a bit too bullish too soon, in my opinion. We're going to take a look at the charts. We're going to take a look at the DXY as well. I'm not a financial advisor by any means. Anything I say is strictly my opinion on the markets. Now, if you want to support Ukraine, please make sure to visit one of the donation links down below in the description. Those will take you to official websites where you can support the Ukrainian refugees or Ukraine's military directly. Thank you all for supporting Ukraine and let's get on with the video. So jumping into the daily chart here on Bitcoin, we're going to take a look at multiple different uh, charts. So right now we are on the daily chart. And as you can see, in my opinion, what we have here is we have a bear flag, right? So this is a pattern that occurs after we see a capitulation and then we see uh, an uptrend or a channel up pattern. Now, the way you target this pattern is basically you take the uh, you take the pole of the flag all the way down to its low. So from the local high to the local low, and then you take the pole and you place it at the point of the potential breakout. And that will give you your target. Now, in this case, this gives us um, a target at $5,800 per Bitcoin. Now, I don't think we are going to see Bitcoin drop that low, although it is possible. Everything's possible in crypto, but I would apply logic in this case. And I would say that that technical target is not feasible. However, what is feasible is if we can drop all the way down to 12 thousand dollars on this Fibonacci retracement. Now, this Fibonacci retracement I have over here is set up just as follows. So uh, just as follows. So you have the swing low here, June 21st, and you have the swing high in November. You get your 1.618 target actually at $3,845. Now, technically, the 1.618 is your target, but that is way too low of a price for Bitcoin. The 1.272 here is sitting at $17,817, and we have wicked to that area perfectly. As you can see, we have wicked to this area June 16th, and from there, we have seen a move to the upside of around about 30%. And I do think we're going to come back down to the 1.272 at least, because the markets are not bullish. The sentiment is bearish, okay? We're not getting bullish news. We're getting bearish news. The SEC, inflation rates, everything is going to turn investors away from risk on assets. So this is simply a um, this is simply a attempt or an attempt for the market makers to liquidate a lot of these short positions. And once enough people have long positions up open, they're gonna drop the price back down thus liquidating all the opened long positions. Now, I do think that even if we do break out of this channel, okay, which would invalidate the bear flag, but we could potentially see a wick all the way up to the 55 EMA on the daily chart, which is the red line here. And we haven't back tested that as resistance ever since April of 2022. So potentially we could see a move to the upside and then we can come back into this channel pattern here. That is also possible. So potentially just have some sell limit orders ready and set to go. I'm not a financial advisor by any means. But usually once you start retracing and uh, you start creating an uptrend, usually you do come back all the way down where you started from. OK, so you started from this point. So usually you come back down, you create a nice double bottom pattern. And from there, you start your move to the upside. But we'll see how everything plays out. Obviously, I'm not going to be right 100 percent of the time. OK, we also have the 1.414 Fibonacci retracement here at twelve thousand dollars. And we could capitulate down to this price if we get a lot of negative news, in my opinion. Now, switching over to a different daily chart for Bitcoin here, I have another Fibonacci retracement here. So this is the swing high that we printed at the end of March and the swing low that we printed at the end of January. So we had our 1.618 target here at twenty three and a half thousand dollars. And that was our technical target ever since we lost the swing low here. We lost the swing low. We traded sideways. We created a double top pattern. We came back down all the way down. We capitulated all the way down to the second Fib level here at 17,840. 
So that is a, uh, a nice level for you to have in mind. Below that, we have the 2.272 at 13,725. Uh, 13, and if you take a close look, that is exactly the swing high that or the high that we printed during the almost the high that we printed during the uh, 2017 bull market. Uh, that is my brush. I apologize. So keep these levels in mind. Have a couple of Fibonacci retracements ready and set to go. I do want to switch over to a different chart. Now switching over to the weekly chart. So I do want to show you this uh, pattern over here. So this is supposed to go down a little lower. So ignore the yellow rectangle for now. Ignore, ignore the trend lines over there. We're going to take a look at them a bit later. Actually, I do apologize. I have to switch to the daily chart. So we're going to switch over to the weekly in a bit. But I do want to show you another Fibonacci retracement here. So this one, and I know it may seem like I have a lot of Fibonacci retracements, but it's good to have different retracements on different time frames, on different fractals, because that way you can get a lot more resistance and support levels and you can combine those in between each other and you can see really where a lot of support is and you can use the EMAs obviously as well. Right now on the daily chart, we are holding the 20 EMA, which is a very bullish sign in my opinion. So we have the, the swing low here, June 18th. We have the swing high, June 26th. And ever since that, we haven't been able to close above this level. As you can see, we have wicked above, which we did today actually but we haven't closed above for us to break this level we have to close the candle above back test this as support and then our technical target is twenty four and a half thousand dollars which is slightly above the 55 ema that is still on the cards potentially unless we start losing the 20 ema and we start losing the golden ratio here at twenty thousand two hundred and seventy one which is the zero point six one eight fibonacci level so keep this in mind this is just a little fib retracement for you we obviously have a nice double bottom pattern here. If you start losing this low, you're invalidating the pattern. But if you have a bounce from this level or a level slightly higher than that, you can potentially create a nice triple bottom pattern here. And, you know, you could have a nice break breakout target to the upside, potentially close to twenty four and a half thousand dollars. But that hasn't happened yet. But I would target some of these fib levels here down below from 20,000 all the way to 18 and a half thousand dollars. I do think we're going to come back there multiple times. Actually, I do think we're going to be in this strange for quite a while in this grab market, so to speak. And right now, finally switching to the weekly chart, I do have a, another Fibonacci retracement. So uh, you can open up a different Bitcoin charts on TradingView. This one is from uh, Binance. So we can see we have our swing high in November. We have our swing low in June and we do have the 1.618 here at $16,708. And this is our technical target. Okay, we did lose the swing low here uh, in June of this month. We went all the way down here, but we didn't get to the 1.618. I do think we're going to come back there because we're going to get more bearish news. Right now, we're getting rejected from the 1.272. And pay attention to this yellow trend line here, uh, the one that I'm moving right now. So as you can see, each touch of this trend line is a lower high. So we've done that twice. Potentially right now, if we start this relief rally, we can end up going all the way up here and, you know, retracing to around about $30,000, uh, you know, just simply creating a lower high on a grand scheme of things. And we can continue our retracement to the downside and we can actually get to the 1.618 at this point, create a nice double bottom pattern within you know, this, a stretch of another six months here. And from there, we break to the upside closer to the beginning of next year. No one knows how it is going to happen, but that is something to pay attention to because this was a, an important support level for us multiple times. So once in January 2021, during the uh, summer pullback last year, we held some, um, we held a candle above this yellow trend line in May, but we ended up breaking to the downside. So usually once you lose a support level, you come back up, you back test that as resistance, and then you come back down lower, thus confirming this as resistance. So that is potentially on the cards as well. Look out for that because you may see this huge pump for Bitcoin and you're going to go like, well, we're probably flipping to the bull market right now. And all it is is simply a lower low or a lower high, I should say, and a back test of resistance. And from there you start 
dropping down and then you say, wow, Bitcoin is really a scam and Bitcoin is going to zero. And then Bitcoin starts doing something like that, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully next year and hopefully closer to the halving and hopefully after the halving as well. But uh, this is good for me because if we continue in this sideways movements, I can accumulate a lot of altcoins before we really, uh, you know, set in stone the next bull market. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you. Also on the weekly RSI here, we were in a falling wedge. We lost the support and potentially right now we're coming back to back test this level as resistance. And then we come back down for a lower low or a higher low. No one knows, but we can potentially do something like this, right? Uh, you, you've had multiple touches off this trend line. We lost it as support here and we even back tested it as resistance here, but potentially we're looking for another back test and then a move to the downside. We'll see what happens. I'm definitely, you know, I'm, I don't really think this is us flipping to uh, the bull market just yet. And I do post on Twitter a uh, lots of technical analysis and I did show you the DXY, which is the dollar index. So the DXY just started dropping uh, on July 15th. And as you can see, this is the daily chart. Once the DXY goes down, the crypto markets start appreciating in value. So this is something to keep in mind as well. Uh, you know, once we see these these moves to the downside, as you can see towards, um, you know, in June, we started the uptrend, uh, but Bitcoin started dropping in June, then we had a little pullback and Bitcoin's dropping once the DXY is going up and vice versa. So keep an eye on the DXY and yeah, if, if it starts losing all kinds of support levels, that's really positive for crypto. If you go to the weekly chart, it's really overextended on the weekly. And at this point, I would tell you that this is very overextended. We do have a technical target here at $112. Potentially, we could get there. But as you can see, the RSI is absolutely overextended here. We do have this channel up pattern. We're going to lose it probably. And we're in the overbought and we're printing a bearish divergence as well, where you have the uh, highs not corresponding to each other from the price action and from the RSI. So here we're printing a higher high, but here we're printing a lower high. This is a bearish divergence. So potentially I would expect to move down to 102.9 on the index because that would be a healthy retest of this area because this is a previous local high and this is the 20 MA on the weekly chart. But we don't know if that's going to happen. This video has been going on for quite a while, so I do apologize. Let me know what you think of Bitcoin. Let me know what you think of the charts. Definitely good time to, you know, wait a little bit or, or take some profits because that's what I did with, with some of my patrons. We do trade and swing trade quite a lot together. If you want to check out my Patreon, it's down below in the description as well as my Twitter page. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and...